Immunoediting, tumor cells versus immune cells. Immunoediting is the body's defense mechanism against cancer. Our immune cells are like a mini army that attacks the enemy tumor cells, but the good guys don't always win. Immunoediting has three phases, elimination, equilibrium, and escape. Elimination. Here the innate and adaptive system work together to destroy developing tumors. Tumor cells overexpress MHC class 1 chain-related molecules. These molecules bind to NKGT3 receptors on NK cells, which causes the release of interferon gamma which attracts other cells and amplifies the immune response. Apoptotic tumor cells release tumor-associated antigens that cause the release of danger cytokines such as interferon alpha and heat shock proteins. These cause the activation and maturation of dendritic cells which pick up tumor-associated antigens and present them to CD8 and CD4 T cells. This activates CD8 T cells, causing destruction of tumor clones to ensure the host remains tumor free. Equilibrium. When tumor cell growth is equal to the rate of the immune system removing tumor cells, equilibrium is achieved. The tumor is kept dormant through three possible mechanisms. Firstly, cellular dormancy. Stroma cells surround tumor cells to create an environment that doesn't promote tumor cell growth. Growth factors are unable to interact with tumor cells, causing cell cycle arrest. Secondly, in angiogenic dormancy, stromal cells prevent angiogenesis required for tumor cell growth. As a result, tumor cells apoptose. Finally, there is immune dormancy, where these apoptotic tumor cells release the tumor-associated antigens that can activate NK and CD8 T cells to cause further tumor cell death. However, genetically unstable tumor clones produce resistant clones that are able to grow and survive against immune destructions. This leads to the third phase, escape. So if the immune system is able to kill tumor cells, why do patients still develop cancer? Resistant clones overwhelm the immune system and are able to rapidly proliferate in the host. Cancer cells are smart. There are four ways in which they can evade the immune system. Firstly, low immunogenicity. Resistant clones can downregulate MHC class 1 molecules and induce tolerance by upregulating host antigens. Think of this as putting an invisibility cloak on, as it prevents recognition by the immune system. Secondly, antigen modulation. This is where the tumor antigen is modified so that it cannot be loaded onto MHC class 1 to be recognized by the immune system. Thirdly, immune suppression by tumor cells or regulatory T cells. Tumor and regulatory T cells can release immunosuppressants like TGF beta that block the activation of host T cells. Finally, CD8 T cell apoptosis by phas activation. Tumor cells express phas ligand on the cell surface, which binds to phas receptors on CD8 T cells, initiating apoptosis of the T cell. The importance of anti-tumor immunity is often underestimated. For every time it fails, resulting in the development of cancer, there are many more times it wins, keeping us cancer-free.